preschool friends, welcome back. Today, we're gonna talk about a new letter. Can you see this letter? What letter is that? Z. I want you to go and find all of your papers from your packet that have letter Z on them. Because today, we'll talk about a couple of them and you might wanna do some of them over the next couple days. Let's look at letter Z. First of all, letter Z is a fun shape. It's just lines, isn't it? Can you see that? Pretty cool. Do you know what sound letter Z makes? Z, Z. Can you do that? Z. Kind of fun with your tongue. All right, let's see what's in here. First of all, let's find capital letter Z. There it is. Do you think lowercase letter Z is going to look the same or different? Let's find it and look. Oh, look at that. It looks a lot the same, but it, it's a little different because its size is different. Capital letter Z is bigger. Lower case letter Z is smaller, but otherwise they look just the same, don't they? Pretty cool. All right, I've got some things in here that start with that Z sound. Let's see if I can make you guess. It could be hard. This is an animal. It's striped and it kind of looks like a horse, but it's, it's striped, so it doesn't look like a horse, and it's not a horse. Can you guess? Did you guess zebra? Zebra starts with Z. Yep. All right, let's see what else do I have in here. Mm, this is something that you have on your coat, and you move it up and down. What do you think that would be? Did you guess zipper? Good job. Zipper starts with Z. What else do I have in here? Oh, this is a number. This is a number that's round. Hmm, and it's, hmm, what do you think that would be? Can you guess? Did you guess zero? Zero, zero starts with Z. All right, I've got a couple more. This is a vegetable. And I like to grow this vegetable in my garden. It's a type of squash. Can you guess what that might be? Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, I don't know. I love it. Zucchini. Did you guess zucchini? And here is a letter Z, Z for zucchini. Okay, my last letter, you ready for this? For my last picture, ready for this one? This is kind of tricky. It's, hmm, it's a squiggly line. Another name for a squiggly line that goes back and forth. Do you know what that would be? Were you thinking zigzag? That's a funny word, huh? Zigzag starts with Z. Nice job, my friends. I have a story to share now. It's a story about a little girl named Zoe. Zoe, Z for Zoe. Zoe gets ready. Let's find out about Zoe. On school days, soccer days, and rainy days, someone else always chooses what Zoe will wear. Does that happen at your house sometimes? Sometimes does your mommy or daddy tell you you have to wear something special because you're doing something special? Sometimes that's frustrating, huh? You just want to choose your own outfit. But today is Saturday, and that means Zoe gets to decide. Oh look, she's looking. How fun is that? She gets to make her own decision today. That's fun to make your own decision. What will she decide? I know, she says, I'll have a pocket day. Definitely a pocket day. I'll collect more treasures than ever before. Do you like to wear pockets? Pockets are cool. Zoe, come on. Let's not spend the whole day in the house. Almost ready, Mama. Hmm. Then again, she's still thinking about what she's going to wear. I might have a twirling day. A dizzy whirling day. I'll spin and spin till I'm as light as a feather. That looks like fun. Hmm. On the other hand, look, she's still thinking. She has not decided yet what she wants to wear today. This 
could be a cartwheeling day, a bouncy feet in the air day. My toes will tickle the clouds. That looks like fun. Zoe's having a hard time choosing. She's having fun thinking. I hope you're not making a mess in there. Just getting organized. Does your room look like that? Mine does sometimes. Sometimes I have to take a long time to choose what I'm gonna wear too. Maybe I'll have an exploring day. I'll lead the way to secret places. That sounds like fun. But it might be a blend-in day. Have you seen your sister? Can you see her? Look at her. She's blending into the tree. <laughs> or a standout kind of day. Ooh, that looks like fun. How about a touch the sky kind of day? Zoe, now, can you hear her mommy calling her? Zoe stops and then she knows exactly what to do. Ready mama and no mess. Look what she's wearing. Kind of everything she was thinking about. That's fun. I like those kind of days when I can make up my own mind like that. Perfect, now let's go. Wait, remember Zoe, just one more thing. Oh, look at that. And now Zoe's ready for her day. She had to put her wings on. I love that story about Zoe. Z is for Zoe. Zoe gets ready. All right, now. Mrs. Wallace is gonna help us with some things. Hi friends. Um, yeah, I, the letter Z is so much fun. It makes um, some really fun words like zillion and zoo and zoom. So um, I looked around my house to see what I could find that was started with the letter Z. Look at this purse that has all these zippers, zippers. And I found something else, Ziploc, Ziploc bags. Those are those plastic bags that we grab all the time, Ziploc. And then I was remembering what we, this, uh, our recordings that we do, they're on what we call a Zoom, Zoom video, which brings me to my song that I was thinking with this that starts with Z is zoom down the freeway. Some of my preschool friends might have remembered doing that one in our classroom. Sometimes we sit on the floor and we put our legs out in front and we do that one and we make the, make our car go zoom down our legs. Can you do that? Zoom. And we're going to say Zoom down the freeway, zoom down the freeway, zoom down the freeway, stop. And then comes the rain. It's raining at my house right now. Rain comes down and it makes the freeway wet and we go splash down the freeway, splash down the freeway, splash down the freeway, stop. And then comes the snow and it comes down quiet, it's very quiet. And then we go slide down the freeway, slide down the freeway, slide down the freeway, stop. Then the last one, the sun comes up and it dries up all the snow and the rain and we get to go zoom down the freeway, zoom down the freeway, zoom down the freeway, stop. Thanks for singing with me, friends. All right, Mrs. Holstein's gonna take us through our worksheets. That was a fun song, boys and girls. I know the friends in my class know how to do that one too. That's one of our favorites to do as we sit on the rug. All right, boys and girls, can you find your worksheet that looks just like this? It has a big zebra on it and a little bit smaller zebra and a short story. Go ahead and get your dauber too, okay? Take the lid off your dauber and get it ready. We're gonna find the letter Z. So do you remember what they look like? Just like this. I'm gonna daub it so you can see. There's our letter Z. 
Now, if you want to read along with me first, we're going to put our finger under the word and we're going to read it. Z is for zebra. There's the zebras. Zack the zebra zigs and zags around the zoo. Zoom, zoom, Zack. Wow, my mouth is going zzz zzz a lot in that. Let's see how many Z's we can find together. We found the first one. Is that one? Sure is. Now down here, Zack. Zack starts with the letter Z. Follow along. There's a lowercase Z. See how it looks the same? But it's just a little bit smaller. Zebra zigs and zags around the zoo. Zoom. Zoom is another word to kind of go fast, to zoom around. Zoom, Zach. There's his name again. Let's count them together and see how many we need to find. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boys and girls, if you found ten Z's, you know that you're done with this worksheet. So now that you're really good at finding them with your eyes because you recognize what they look like, let's just do a little bit of practice writing the Z. So find your page with the big zipper. That's a really big zipper, isn't it? I wonder whose zipper that is. We're gonna practice writing the letter Z. You're gonna start all the way over here and go straight across. Then we're gonna come down at an angle and then put a tail on it straight back, just like that. I'm gonna do it one more time for you. Across the top, down at a diagonal, and then put a little tail on the back. Boys and girls, now that you know how to find the Z, and you know what the letter Z sounds like, Z, and you know how to write it, I know that you can do the rest of these worksheets on your own. If you need a little help from your grown-ups, that's okay too, but you have a few more worksheets here. You've done them with our other letters. So if you have questions, ask your grown-up, but I'm pretty sure that you're gonna figure it out on your own. Boys and girls, guess what? Z is the last letter of the alphabet. You've learned all your letters from A all the way down to Z. We are really proud of you, so give yourself a pat on the back for that. That's some hard work, but we're super proud of you. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.